This video demonstrates how MATLAB can help create vision systems that you can use when developing control algorithms for ADAS and automated driving systems. I'll discuss MATLAB's comprehensive documentation, the way in which it provides visibility into a black box vision system, and how you can use it to create your own vision system. First, let's discuss some of the difficulties that controls engineers face when developing controls algorithms. The vision systems are often black boxes, making it difficult for the controls team to understand how changes in the driving environment affect the performance of the vision system. Vision systems are often developed by different teams. This can sometimes mean that controls engineers have to wait for the vision system to be ready before they can do any of their work. To illustrate how MATLAB can help address these challenges, let's use the stop sign detection example from the other videos in the series. Open up MATLAB and find Help for Computer Vision by typing Doc Vision. This brings up a list of computer vision topics. I'll then navigate to the Object Detection and Recognition section. As I scroll down, I find an example on training a stop sign detector. This example explains the steps required to create the stop sign detector. And to make your life easier, you can even run code directly from the documentation by selecting the code and choosing Evaluate Selection or by pressing the F9 key. This single line of code trains a stop sign detector using the Cascade Object Detector algorithm. If you want to learn more about the algorithm used, simply navigate back to the previous section and click on the Train a Cascade Object Detector topic. This article has everything you need to know on what's under the hood in the Train Cascade Object Detector function and also includes tips and tricks on how to best create a detector with your data. Now let's read in a test image on which we'll test the final output. In this image, you will see a pedestrian and a stop sign. Let's test the stop sign detector I just trained. You can see it accurately locates the stop sign in the image. You're probably wondering what to do if you want to detect the pedestrian. Luckily, we have a pre-trained method that does this. You can simply call the code to detect the pedestrian. To summarize, MATLAB's comprehensive documentation makes it easy to quickly create your own traffic sign detection system. It also provides information on the exact algorithm used so it is no longer a black box. In addition, MATLAB makes it easy to quickly create your own vision system that you can use to develop prototypes of control algorithms.